Hello everyone, it's Katrys here and I welcome you to this new video. Today I want to talk about something which was um, actually announced yesterday. And those are of course two new cards coming in Breakers of Shadow, which are really interesting for me. Well, at least by the name. And those cards are Deskbot 7 and Deskbot 8. Yep, we're getting two more main deck monsters for our uh, deck, for my favorite deck at the moment. Okay, for my favorites is the tie between uh, between Sylvans and Despot, but yeah, it's probably it's definitely out there. But at first, I want to uh, mention that my third video just got uh, passed the thousand view mark. So the first one was my second Stellanite video. The second one was surprisingly the Gemini video. I didn't expect it at all, just saying. And my third video is of course my desk bot deck showcase. So three deck showcases uh, surpassed a thousand, which makes me real happy. But for this video I want to focus on the part of the new card. The two new Despots, Despot 7 and Despot 8. Of course, both having their names as their levels. Both are machine type, both are earth, both have 500 attack and 500 defense, and both are pendulum effect monsters. So, yeah, they are basically like 5 and 6, but level 7 and level 8, okay? Okay. 7 has a pendulum scale 10, at least probably. Because I don't think it's uh, official yet, and eight has the pendulum scale of one. All right, both have just one pendulum effect. You cannot pendulum summon monsters except Deathbot monsters. This effect cannot be negated. This is everything they have for pendulum effect. And yeah, their monster effects are the first one is the same again. This card gains 580k for each Deathbot card in your graveyard. I won't comment on that yet. The second effect of Despot 7 is other Despot monsters you control cannot be targeted by an attack. The Despot 8 second effect is other Despot monsters you control cannot be targeted by opponent's card effect. And the third effect are for 7 it is if this monster attacks a defense position monster and inflict piercing damage. And the eighth effect is uh, once, per once per battle phase this card can make a second attack against the monster. So, yeah, we basically have two attack based um, despots, which are both higher levels and both um, actually protect other monsters from being targeted either by an attack or by card effects. Well, do I think both cards are good? And. I want, to, I want to be honest, I want to be really honest right now. And my honest answer is no, I don't think they're good. I don't think they're really uh, mentionable at all, because the only thing which is good for 7 is its level. And that's all, because let, let's look at the other two pendulum effect monsters we have, and those are 5 and 6. They both have a second pendulum effect, which activates on destruction. They both have an unsummon effect, and they both gain 580k for each despot in our extra deck. The attack 80k gain is bad for both, because we won't have uh, despots in the extra deck that often, and we also won't have despots in our graveyard so much, because we want to end our duels fast. The thing is that Despot 5 and Despot 6 at least give us some utility into the deck, which is pretty good. Despot 7 and Despot 8 are purely there for those um, for those protection reasons and for their battle effects, and I don't like that at all, because I rather have uh, 1, 1, 1, 3, 1, 2, and whatever to other Despots than um, 1, 7 and 1, 3. Because 7 and 8 doesn't synergize at all with the other Despot monsters uh, in terms of um, playing style. They just protect. I know protecting can be strong, but the greatest 
critic point I have is on Despot 8, that it just protects from targeting opponent's card effects. So the strongest card against uh, against such OTK decks as Despot, the two strongest cards, Torrential Tribute and Mirrorfall, aren't covered. Those cards really end our legacy for the whole duel, or at least one turn, if we can't uh, build up again. Those two cards can just uh, do whatever way they want, because Despot's 8 just protects from targeting effects. And if we go for our OTK, we don't even need that effect as much, and we don't need the um, target for an attack um, effect either, if we go for the real for the real duel for the um, OTK. If we are going for a control bit, we'll most likely want to have a this, uh, a Summer Dragon Infinity out, which isn't possible with 7 and 8 in any ways. We need 5, we need 4, and we need 1 or 2 to summon more. And that is literally everything we need to uh, play our game. 7 and 8 kind of feel out of place, at least in a theory. I will not test them at all. I will just play Despot 7 once. But not for its effect or something, but for its level. Because with Despot 3 and Genex Alive Bird One, we have a two card jet. Because Despot 3, some of Despot 7, we bounce 3 back with Jet, uh, with, with uh, Birdman, and then we have Simple Tank, Jet. That is actually the only reason I see to play Despot 7. And I see no reason in playing Despot 8 except if we would run a Star Eater. But I wouldn't recommend doing that because my extra deck is really clocked right now and I don't know what to take out for it. Because every single card can be needed. Every card I have at the moment can be needed. So, yeah, that, those are my thoughts. What would I do better with those cards? I would probably just um, just kill their second monster effect, both protection effects, and I would do something like a good pendulum effect instead. Like when this card, uh, if this card is uh, placed on pendulum zone, or if this card is destroyed and uh, sent to the extra X or something from a pendulum zone, then you do this or that. But they're pretty useless as a pendulum monster. Because if you pen if you use Despot 5 or Despot 6 as pendulum monster, when they get destroyed, you still benefit from it. If you use 7 or 8, if they get if they get destroyed, you get nothing. You get nothing at all. They're just destroyed. You just lost a monster, you minus. Despot 5 and Despot 6 give you a bit of plus when they are destroyed. Not not much plus, but they can. Uh, Despot 5 can result in a real plus 1 instantly, and 6 uh, makes a, an equalization. Uh, they make plus minus 0 with its effect, because we, uh, our card gets destroyed and we get another. 5 can, uh, five can special summon 2 from a graveyard so we can get a sword. 7 and 8 are just out of place, they don't synergize at all. And I think that is pretty sad, because I was looking forward to how Despot 7 and Despot 8 would be, and I thought they would um, do something interesting, like... Um, well, I don't actually know, like um, summoning, this, uh, summoning 580k monsters from the deck um, based on whatever. I'm not too sure how I would do it, but I wouldn't do it like they have done it. And at least if I want a protect effect, I would really say cannot be destroyed by card effects. Other despot monsters you control cannot be destroyed by card effects. So they can still be targeted and such and negated and everything, but they at least cannot be destroyed by mirror force or torrential tribute. Because those cards are the real evildoers against despots, not those targeted cards. At least not how I experience it, and I play this one for a really long time yet now. Well, I hope this little video helped you, and I hope you're not too angry with me because 
Maybe you think those cards are good, but I really don't think so. I really don't think those cards are really worth the wait. I will really just play 7 for its level. And nothing more, nothing less. Alright, this was everything I wanted to mention right now. This was Actrius and yeah. I hope you enjoyed and stuff. And we see you next week actually because I have prepared another quick shot for next week Thursday. So stay, f uh, stay tuned and look forward for that video. And stay Raven. <laughs>